College Savings Iowa is now iSave 529, and it can do more than take your child to college. It's their passport to a bright future because funds can be used for K-12 tuition, trade schools, graduate degrees, books, and everything they need to get anywhere they want to go. Register by September 30th at iowa529contest.com for a chance to win a $5,290 contribution. I save 529 for every child, for any adventure. The mighty and resilient Merrimack River, carving through the communities of our great region. My name is Linda Lorden, proud president of Merrimack County Savings Bank. And like the river that serves as our namesake, we're a constant yet ever-changing presence. Because to us, it's bigger than banking. It's about powering communities, and putting people first. It's about knowing where you came from and where you're going. That's Merrimack style. Visit us at themerrimack.com. Welcome to the new series of the Speak English with a British Accent podcast. I hope you've had a great summer, and it's exciting to move on to the new seasons and the final quarter of 2024. Are you ready to take action on your accent? Let's begin. Section 1 Are you ready for your September reset? I absolutely love this time of year. For me, September will forever be back to school, no matter how many years have passed since I last found myself in the classroom. The vibe is all about refresh, reboot and reassess. This is the ideal time to reassess how well the year has panned out so far. And if things haven't worked out as well as had been anticipated, you still have plenty of time in the remaining months to hit your goals or exchange them for newer challenges. Can you remember what your British accent goals were for 2024? Here are some reasons for wanting to speak English with a British accent – direct from the mouths of students just like yourself. Make friends with many people around the world. For worldwide communication. To make better business opportunities. To be able to express myself to people well. To understand the world much faster. And I'm an unlimited traveller. To improve my personality. I wanted to speak English because it's an international language. Also, with speaking good English, I can go everywhere all over the universe. I do have my own purpose. To reach the people of the world, to point out the work of Jesus. Because it gives me empowerment, associates and better opportunities through business and communication skills... I want to live in another country. So that's just a handful of reasons that other students have decided they want to speak English with a British accent. And I'm sure you can add your own reasons to the list. Remind yourself why you're interested in podcasts like these. Take a moment and refresh your excitement and drive for learning to speak English with a British accent. What's in it for you? So once you're clear on your motivations, I want you to get in touch with me. Tell me what you need from me to help you achieve your British accent goals. The email address is in the show notes. What should I include in these podcasts that will accelerate your progress and make it a fun ride? Like you, I need to refresh, reboot and reassess how I can help you and all the other subscribers to speak English with a British accent. All your thoughts and ideas are really important to keep us all moving forward. And as a one-person business, because it is only myself who runs the website, creates the daily emails, produces these podcasts, and all the training materials and courses, it's really crucial to know if I'm actually giving you the content and information you need. And possibly... More importantly, I need your encouragement. I read all your emails and it really does lift my spirits when I hear your feedback and your success stories alongside your thoughts and ideas for future content. 
So please do have a think and let me know how I can best serve you and your British accent ambitions. And finally, your financial contributions are critical to keeping this show on the road. The large majority of the funding comes from your subscriptions to my Keystone training, which is the British Accent Bundle. And if you're interested, you can sign up for the 12-month subscription at £99. Details again in the show notes. Alternatively, or in addition, you can also make a donation through my PayPal or Coffee pages. Again, the links are in the show notes. Currently, I have only one subscriber who has set up a monthly donation to my PayPal account. I'd love this to be more. Even a £1 monthly donation can make a huge difference. And before I forget, I've opened up my private coaching calls for the month of September. Each session is an intensive 20-minute Zoom or Skype call, focusing on any area of pronunciation you want. Each session is £50, and you can book a time on any weekday between the hours of 9am to 3pm. Just email me with the date and time that works for you. Email address, again in the show notes, it's mail at learningbritishaccent.com. So here's to a great September and beyond. Section 2 Let's talk about you. During the past 18 years or so that LearningBritishAccent.com has been running, I've had the privilege of getting to know virtually some of you. It's always a pleasure to hear your stories, where you've come from and where you're going, and to hear how my courses and website have impacted your life through absorbing your written words and reading between the lines it feels to me that many of my most successful subscribers share similar characteristics. Do any of these resonate with you? 1. Professionally ambitious. They are career-driven and recognise the value of clear and polished communication in advancing their professional life. They might be actors, corporate professionals or public speakers who want to refine their accent to enhance their job prospects. Number two, they're culturally engaged. They generally have a strong interest in British culture, whether through literature, film, or the eccentricities of British society. They might be students, travellers, or employees who see accent training as a way to enrich their cultural experience and feel more at ease conversing in English. And number three, they're dedicated learners. Crucially, they are someone who is committed to self-improvement and lifelong learning. They're willing to put in the time and effort to practice and perfect their accent understanding that it's a skill that can significantly impact their life. If any or all of these characteristics fit you and your personality, then I'm sure you'll enjoy and find success with the training tools available at learningbritishaccent.com. Just as importantly, if neither of these three attributes speak to you, then learningbritishaccent.com isn't for you. Feel free to unsubscribe to this podcast or my emails and find an alternative that fits your needs better. There's no hard feelings. Don't forget, I'm always interested to hear your motivations to learning to speak English with a British accent. Get in touch and tell me your story. Section 3 If the training fits, what will you get out of it? In the previous section, I shared with you three characteristics that link many of the subscribers to my website and my British Accent Bundle. So if you didn't unsubscribe, I'm guessing you see some, if not all, of these characteristics in yourself. So if people just like you have experienced success with my British Accent Bundle, what results could you expect if you joined up for membership? In no particular order... 1. Increased confidence in communication. You'll develop the ability to speak with clarity and authority in an RP British accent. 
This newfound confidence will help in both professional and social settings, making you feel more self-assured and comfortable in conversations. Number two, enhanced professional opportunities. A polished British accent can open doors in careers where communication and presentation are key, such as acting, public speaking, customer service, and international business. You could find yourself more appealing to employers or clients who value a refined and articulate manner of speaking. And number three, improved social interactions and acceptance. Mastering the British accent can lead to better understanding and fewer misunderstandings in everyday conversations. This can make social interactions smoother and more enjoyable, helping you to blend in more easily and be perceived positively by other speakers. So, how could boosted confidence, reduced anxiety, increased credibility, and better professional and social relationships improve your life? What are you waiting for? Go to learningbritishaccent.com/bundle and begin your transformation today. Section four. What are you really afraid of? So, in the last section, I talked about the benefits you could experience if you took the plunge and committed to improving your spoken English. But it still didn't persuade you to take action, yet. So, what's holding you back? Could it be the cost? Ninety-nine pounds may be a stretch for many, but over the year, it works out at less than two pounds per week. Do you doubt whether it will work for you? It's natural to be sceptical about the results that can be achieved with an online course, particularly if you've tried similar training before and did not see significant improvement. But here's what some of my past customers have said: "I have to say, your course is the only one that has worked for me over the years." Victor S. Villegas said. Your ultimate RP British accent has helped me in many ways. Thank you very much for your amazing product and support. And Mr. S. Mustafa said, "I bought your course yesterday, and the least to say, it's amazing and very professional. I have noticed significant change in the pronunciation of a couple of words, which make me feel so happy. Or maybe the worst thing that could happen is that you do make the changes you're seeking." Change can go hand in hand with fear and anxiety. Many people worry that their success will be judged negatively by their nearest and dearest. Sometimes those around us can feel threatened by the growth we're striving for. They may react with skepticism or even jealousy, seeing your self-improvement as a reminder of their own inertia. The uncomfortable truth is, improving yourself. Can disrupt the status quo of your relationships, whether it's friends or family. They might question why you want to change, or subtly pressure you to stay the same, fearing that your transformation will somehow distance you from them. But remember, these reactions often stem from their own insecurities, rather than a true reflection of your journey. If you have any questions about my British accent bundle, please do get in touch. And if you're ready to start, go to learningbritishaccent.com/bundle. Section five. Idioms with new. Six fun idioms with the word new to freshen up your vocabulary for the new school year. To celebrate that feeling of newness at the start of the new school year, I've got some idioms that use this fabulous little word. Number one, a new leaf, a new leaf. This idiom means to start anew, to make a fresh start or change one's behaviour. For example, after his breakup, he decided to turn over a new leaf and start focusing on his career. Number two. A new lease on life, a new lease on life. This idiom means to have a renewed sense of energy or enthusiasm, often after a difficult or challenging experience. For example, 
Winning the lottery gave her a new lease on life, and she was finally able to quit her job and travel the world. Number three, new blood, new blood. This idiom means new people or members, often used to refer to someone who brings fresh ideas or energy to a group. For example, we're always looking for new blood to join our team and bring some fresh perspectives. Number four, a new ball game, a new ball game. This idiom means a new situation or challenge, often used to refer to a change in circumstances. For example. After the merger, everything changed, and it was a whole new ball game. Number five, a new hat, a new hat. This idiom means a new role or responsibility. For example, she's excited to try on her new hat as the team's leader and make a positive impact. She's excited to try on her new hat as the team's leader and make a positive impact. And finally, number six, new kid on the block, new kid on the block. This idiom means a newcomer or someone who is new to a place or situation. For example, as the new kid on the block, he was a bit nervous about starting his new job, but he quickly made friends and settled in. So whether you're starting afresh or facing new challenges, these idioms with new. Can help you express yourself in a fun and creative way. So go ahead and turn over a new leaf, and see what the future has in store. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's podcast, and I look forward to your company next week. Bye for now. Music